Batch renaming and assigning keywords to photos are two other very useful features of the file browser in Photoshop CS. So we have our wedding photos here. We've taken off of the digital camera and we have this generic system that the camera assigns to the photographs. And I'd like to rename all of these photographs to something that's far more recognizable. So what I would do is either go to Edit, Select All, or Control A on a PC or Command A on a Mac for the shortcut. Select all the photographs, go to Automate, Batch Rename, and rename in the same folder or move to a new folder and you will browse to where you wanted to move them to. I'm just going to leave them in the same folder and I'm going to change this to Amanda's Wed. You have to have a numbering system you can't have every photo with the same name in there so I'm using the digital serial number extension it's going to add the JPEG extension to each of the renamed photos click OK and voila we have all of our renamed photos now getting on to the assigning keywords move over to the left hand side here and make sure that your keyword palette is available. I'm going to collapse this other palette. I don't need it right now. It gives me a better view of my keywords palette. Now Photoshop ships with some generic keyword sets and you can click on these icons on the left here to open them up and see what's in here. If you don't like them you can either delete them individually the keyword or delete the whole set by just clicking on it and clicking on the trash can. I'm going to add one to the people set here to add a keyword just click on it and put in bride and groom. I'm going to assign a keyword of bride and groom for the bride and groom shots in this folder. So I'll press enter. Now go over to your bride and groom shots and it's the same process of selecting the photos that you want to assign that keyword to you're just going to either control click on a PC or command on a Mac I'm not going to click on every single one this just gives you an idea of how you would do it once you have all of the photos that you want to assign that keyword to you double click on the keyword and you have this box coming up, you've selected multiple files, yes. Now, three or four weeks down the road, when you come back into this folder, you have hundreds of photos in here, and you just want to isolate the bride and groom shots, you're going to go up to your search icon here, click on it. Obviously, you're looking in the batch rename folder, or your Amanda's wedding folder include all subfolders. You have search criteria here, obviously it'll be by keywords, BG, search, and there are all my bride and groom shots in that folder. 